It's 11 p.m., December 24, 2014. Mark is drunk in the heart of downtown Ember City, singing a Christmas song, banging out dissonant chords on his battered red acoustic guitar. Traffic is almost non-existent, so he sways in and out of the street with little fear of passing cars. His breath hangs heavy and visible in the chilly air. Merry Christmas To all the girls I've loved Mark sings to the city. He's a good singing voice. His singing has been good enough to pay for his garden apartment and assortment of vices. My God, what have I done? Merry Christmas. I think this is enough. Merry Christmas. Things can get so tough, but I'm doing better now. I'm happy to be alive Here to celebrate another Christmas day Downtown Ember City is decked out in holiday cheer Animatronic Santa with bells and reindeer move in soulless unison behind the glass of the old Polk Brothers building the stripped city trees that line the parkway are ablaze with tiny lights, some of them flashing. A light snow has started, and Mark feels like there should be a mover camera on. Holding my head in my hands, I sit and wait for you, whether you'll ever come again. Well, I'm not really sure. shouts and Mark is snapped out of his drunken moment. Why don't you show your fuck up? Mark circles around and tries to spot the heckler. But there's no one there. He looks at his hand. His exposed fingers start to stiffen. He looked down the right arm of his charcoal gray top coat to his pale hand and saw that he had busted one of his fingers open while strumming too hard. It wasn't a lot of blood, just enough to drip down to the winter asphalt. Where was I? Mark asked the city 
trying to regain some composure before concluding his song. Ah, uh, yeah. Merry Christmas! Left alone, I will wither, become complacent, make no murmur. I need connection, one by one by one, something bigger. The opposite of addiction, when we all hold hands together. Our low, flickering lights become one, a giant star. It springs life and soars greater, a better son, a better daughter, a steadfast friend, a faithful lover. Alone I am the dark, together we burn forever. Alone I will fall apart, with you I can recover. Mark wakes up to see his 19-year-old self standing on a chair, looking at him. He has a red acoustic guitar strapped around him, but he doesn't play it. Mark lights a candle, gets on his knees, and starts praying. I'm never leaving. I will always be here. Why? You know why. My life has improved. I have a job now. I have a wife, a child. I own a car for the first time. Why? I've, I've seen these promises come true. Why are you still here? Why? You know why. I've told her all of my wrongs. Yes, this is true. You have. What about the steps? What if I work the steps? Will you go away then? Hmm. You might not be able to see me, but I'll be there. Late at night when you can't sleep, in the winter when the snow is deep, I might be behind your next Kleenex you sob into. You'll find yourself in the liquor aisle at Jewel, Whole Foods, Mariano's, Walgreens. A reflection in the glass door will catch your eyes, your red eyes, your red, determined, mischievous, leprechaunish sunflowers on a blue sky fucking eyes. You won't even kid yourself. I'll come back for good. Shut time. up! My body can't handle another round, though. Liver failure at 25, scarring of the liver, cirrhosis. I can't do those things I used to. I physically cannot handle it anymore. Still going to be here. Still? Still. Shut up! Nah. What if I go crazy? Will you be gone then? Dude, you know I'm still going to be there. There's no telling when I'll show up. But I am part of you. You can keep stepping on into the future there. Enjoy that life, that wife of yours, those kids, that lovely sense of security. You can keep walking and walking and walking till it hits you hard. Pow! Panic. You need something. You can't deal with life on life's terms. You need something that only a bottle can fix. If I give you my life, will you spare me my son? Come on now. If I give you my life, will you spare my son? You're being foolish. If I give you... Quiet now. You'll wake everyone up. I've given you my life. Will you spare me my son? It's simply not up to us. So, yeah, that was me. I was a homeless drunk. I had a guitar for survival that could help satisfy my undying need for alcohol. My world was so, so, so small. I was in a dark, cold place for a very long time.
We have to fight. We have to fight. 